Hello everyone, today I want to show you my new Power BI connector for Google Ads. We will get data from Google Ads and unload them in Power BI data model. Also, we will try to refresh our data set in Power BI service. Let's start. The first uh, thing you should do is to allow your Power BI desktop use our self-written connectors. Press File, then we choose Options and Settings and Options. In the security section, we need to check allow an extension to load without validation or warning. It is necessary to use our connector. Then press OK. And now we need a mess file, the connector itself, Google Ads Mess. I choose Google Ads Mess, copy it, and then I need to go in Documents, then Power BI Desktop, Custom Connectors. You can see this path. PC is my computer name, then Documents, Power BI Desktop, Custom Connectors. Then I insert this file in my folder and replace the file. So now I can use my connector in Power BI Desktop. Let's go to Power BI Desktop and press Get Data. In our search we can enter Google and I see Google Ads Connector, choose it, connect. Now you need to enter five parameters. The first is Account ID. You can see ID format. Let's get it from our Google Ads account. Now I opened my Google Ads account and I copy this number. Input my number in account ID field. Then you should select report type. In our connector we have nine report types. Let's select campaign performance report. Start date and uh, end date. You can enter in format year, month, day, or you can select dynamic format today, yesterday, or end days ago. I enter 2019 first month and first day, end date yesterday. If you don't know what fields you want to see in your report, you can press space. This connector has default fields, default columns, and we will get a report with a default list of columns. Press OK and get our statistics. Now I should select the Google Ads account. Sign in. My account is power for query gmail.com and then I should allow my application connect to my Google Ads account. It's all. Press connect and then we get our statistics. Now I see six columns in my report. Day or date, campaign name, campaign ID, impressions, clicks and cost. Let's uh, transform data. I will delete this uh, step. Uh, so I see a Google Ads function, Google Ads data. In uh, this function we see five parameters. Let's change report type. We can select add group performance report or criteria performance report. Sign in again and connect. And we have campaigns, add group, add group ID, also impressions, clicks and cost. Uh, let's imagine you need to get statistics uh, by device and you don't need uh, to add another columns, only device and cost. For this type we can select account performance report and then instead of space you need to enter device and cost. Edit credentials again. And we have statistics by device. We can see what device have spent a lot of money. It's mobile. Now we can read a description of our function. We can delete parameters and our query is equals Google Ads data. And now we can read a Google Ads function created to get data from Google Ads. You can use uh, dimensions and metrics according to chosen report type. Here we have some examples and we have link to our reports. Copy it and on the left side of this page we can choose our report type. For example, age range performance. In the age range performance report we can add attribute, segment and metric. So by default our segment is date. You can add uh, device if you need click type or some other segment. So you can add uh, columns from this list. So let's get age range statistics. We will use dynamic start date and end date. Columns by default. Invoke, edit our credentials and connect. Here we have campaigns, campaign ID, age range and our three fields with metrics. Let's download it in um, data model, close and apply. And now we have our first query in data model. Use age range, clicks, cost and depressions. Now we have table with age distribution and we can check how will Power BI refresh our data set. Press publish. I publish my desktop file in my workspace. Success. And now we can check it in Power BI service. I found Google Ads data set. And now we need to edit credentials. But first I need check personal gateway. In the search I found personal gateway. Open it. And your personal gateway should see in connectors Google Ads connector. If your Power BI personal gateway see this connector you can use it and you can refresh your data. Then we should check personal gateway running on my computer and uh, edit credentials. I always choose organizational and uh, sign in. Select account 
powerful query and it's okay google saw our credentials and we can refresh our data set google ads refresh now i had a problem with uh, refresh in power bi service but i solved it if i press refresh history you can see successful refresh so now we can schedule refresh enable it and uh, i should add the refresh time for example six o'clock in the morning apply and my data set will refresh in this time it's all i want to say about google ads connector you can download this connector by link in description of the video in my youtube channel you can find another videos about uh, connectors and if you like my content subscribe and uh, watch a lot of videos about power query and power bi